This is the third annual National Underwater Robotics Challenge, and I'm Shauna Fletcher. I'm the president of Arizona Promoters of Applied Science and Education. This competition that we have this year, we have 28 teams from all around Arizona and California competing. This competition is a little bit different than other robotics competitions just because we have elementary school kids competing with middle school, high school, college, and also two adult teams. So if you're interested in our competition, um, we'll have specs up and our broadcast is live streamed on the web at www.h2orobots.org. The National Underwater Robotics Challenge is designed to give uh, individuals, any, anybody from grade school to uh, college and even adults, the opportunity to use science, technology, engineering, mathematics to design and build an ROV to compete in this competition. Kids to do this project learn everything from mathematics needed to survive with your uh, robot underwater, uh, the physics involved with the buoyancy control and the robotics control and programming. You basically will learn a little bit of everything in order to have your robot be successful underwater. Uh, what you see behind me is a mock-up of a scenario that was created by the design committee. The criteria for judging, teams have to turn in a technical report, they also have to do an oral presentation before a panel of distinguished judges. In addition to that, they have the underwater mission itself and things such as uh, meet and greet, which is a, a way a team is judged without their knowledge on how they deal with the public and other teams. So there's judges out there that are watching the interactions between the teams as well. A lot of the judges that show up here are from the U.S. Navy and uh, industry that have a lot of great advice for the kids. The oral presentations today have been incredible. We're, um, my particular group, we're seeing half of them and uh, all ranges of ages and uh, ideas. There's going to be a lot going on. There's going to be people actually competing with the robot later on tonight and getting into the water and actually going through the course. There's also going to be people competing in presentation rooms and they're going to be um, surrounded by judges, you know, asking many different questions, you know, wanting to know how much they actually know about their robot, about the mission, and about what they plan to achieve. Well, I worked for NASA for 30 years now. One of the main challenges our country currently faces is innovation and having students that are really good in engineering. This is one of the key areas that is a cornerstone for our country. This underwater robotics project is extremely important to not only developing engineers that are capable, but ones that are very innovative as well. And these are things that the kids can do easily, they challenge them, and what these kids are doing is comparable in many ways to engineering work of, of your second, third year engineering students that graduate from college. Many students have built their own electronics, and some of them even built their own motors. The students will be throwing their robots into this submersible pool here tonight and simulating helping a, a maroon ship. They're going to be helping another uh, submersible rover, ROV, try and take core samples from a simulated iceberg. So these are all very much real life types of experiences that we would use. The students who participate in NERC will walk away with experience on speaking in public, experience in science and technology, and actually knowing you know, how to present themselves when they're talking about science and technology. If you like what you see with NERC this year, then check out our website, www.h2orobots.org, and make sure you join us for our competition next year. We don't know what the mission is going to be, but it will be announced by October 31st. So join us then. Thank you.